The Bullet versus uh, Jed or Jacek. Interesting for a couple of reasons, right? First off, that's the fight to make. But second off, you guys realize this is their fourth time in there? First time in MMA, but their fourth time in there. Now, I never saw their kickboxing fights, and there's been a lot that's made of this. I'm told that the Bullet won all three of those fights. I was also told somewhere that one of them was a draw, and the Bullet won the other two. I don't come to you to be factually accurate on how that series ended, but I do know this. I do know Joanna did not win one of those fights, which leads me to just wonder, even in the very small world of women's kickboxing, why the hell were they fighting over and over? Was the first fight so close and compelling you had to do a rematch? Because we see that a lot. But once you do the rematch and the result doesn't change, what the hell did they go out there and do a third fight for? I would like to know that. Was there some kind of drama behind those fights? Because there is another time in history where I can remember this happening. It, it was Manny Pacquiao versus uh, Juanuel Marquez. They fought three times. Pacquiao beat them all three times. They went out and did it a fourth time. And guess what? The fourth time, the decision goes the other way. Marquez knocks him out cold. So sometimes there is a need for that, but it's very rare. It's very rare that there's a demand to watch people go out. Yes, the rematch, for sure, but not the third time. The third time, the rubber match, it's when you split. I mean, we're, we're seeing that even now with the, the Jones and Cormier talk. Those were such good fights, and there was so much behind it, and the, and the drug tests and everything else, and now the, the change in the weight class, nobody cares. Nobody cares what the previous results were. They just want to see these same, same two guys go out there and do it again. But that's a rare thing for the, for the third so these gals did this three times in the world of kickboxing where I can't imagine anybody was watching. I can't imagine there was a, a big purse or a big ego or a big audience behind it. So I don't know. Why did they go out and do it three times when the result didn't change? Was there controversy with the judges? Because it does not appear, as both of these ladies retell the story, that anybody is got a discrepancy with the result. Joanna went as far as to try to dismiss it. She, she, right? There's only only two stances on this Joanna side, which is, well, that was a long time ago, and it doesn't matter. And the bullet side, going, hey, this is our career, and everything we do matters. There's, a, you can only take one of two sides. So you got two ladies, and they, they both grab their side. There's really nowhere further you could go with it. But I do ask you sincerely, sincerely ask if anybody has the answer. Why did they have to fight three times? Was this tournament format and they just kept returning to one another? Or was there some level of controversy? I tend to think it was not. I love controversy, so I'd love the answer in case that was. I come and tell it to you guys. We get into this. But I tend to think there was not controversy because Joanna's not making that claim. She's not coming out and yeah, you got your hand raised, but it should have been me. She's not coming out saying, well, you know, you were heavy in kickboxing, but I was an all-around fighter. And we've seen some people make that claim. You guys remember when Chris Cyborg went over and did some kickboxing. And she goes, well, yeah, I'm doing that kickboxing to work on my overall game, which is mixed martial arts. We see very great fighters go into grappling contests. Some go their way and some don't, but they use that contest as a way to sharpen their skill to go back into mixed martial arts. I don't know that either of these gals has fully told the story of what happened in the Muay Thai experience, and above everything else. I would really like to know, why do it, do it again, and then go do it a third time if there was not a need for a rubber match? So there's the trivia question of the day. I pose the question, but I'd love it if somebody had the answer to that, or even some footage. Go ahead and direct me to the correct YouTube link. I'll go check it out for myself.